The Ontario Retirement Pension Plan is a big topic right now, especially with our local Pete Greater Peterborough Chamber of Commerce. Sandra Duick is a policy analyst and communication specialist. You've just released a new kind of updated concern. What are you yes. worried about? Well, we're just concerned that we still don't have a lot of answers. The plan is that there are certain employers, um, larger ones at this point, that will technically have to start contributing to this plan in January 1st, 2017, which in the grand scheme of things isn't that far away. Mm -hmm. Especially if you're planning your budgets now, correct? Exactly, especially if you're doing your outlooks, how do, you know, how do you plan for something that you don't know what the exact impact is? If, if that particular business has a plan, they still don't know at this point if they are comparable. And if they aren't comparable, they will have until 2020 to become comparable or change their plans altogether. But it's still, there's still a lot of unknowns because we don't know. Um, August 11th, the government announced that the comparability for defined contribution, which is a certain plan that many people in the private sector have, um, they they said they can have 4% from the employee, 4% from the employer, but mm -hmm. we don't know how many businesses actually have that level of comparability to, to what the government is saying. So that's a really big question. You know, are we cutting out half of the businesses? Are we cutting out three quarters of the businesses in the province that mm -hmm. have, we, we don't know. So businesses really don't know where they stand still. We also don't know, um, you know, what the administrative cost of this particular plan is going to be right. because the government will have to take it on at this point. So what we've asked for mm -hmm. and they've agreed to do, so we're very thrilled with that, is they've agreed to put out an, a cost-benefit analysis by the end of the year. So they're going to be able to tell us by December 31st exactly what what is coming down the pipe, exactly what this is going to cost, cost business, cost employees, so we, we can have an understanding from that perspective, but that's not coming until December. So in between that time, we're still left with a lot of these unknowns. And we do know that businesses, this is not happening in isolation from other increased costs that businesses are seeing from electricity to, you know, we've got the cap and trade issue, which I mean, we can kind of follow this conversation on that. It's not that businesses don't want to help and, and be aware of the environment. It's that they don't know what's coming down the pipe. They need to see where this fits. Is this yeah. a matter of, um, it almost seems like, A, the, the, the government is kind of rushing business into this, but also it seems like they're just going to, you know what, this is the way it's going to be, and we'll kind of work out the details after the date. And we, we do get that sense, but that's not really how, it's not conducive to no. being, allowing businesses to plan and that's something that we're constantly asking for is we're asking for those planning periods, we're asking for that knowledge before we jump right into it because that really helps set the stage and it has a great impact. All of these legislations start piling on top of each other and it's a lot for businesses to wrap their heads around and, you know, turn the ship if needed mm. and how do we, and, 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 and how how, so how do they do that? And if you're a small business, it has a, a larger impact in some cases than, you know, if you've got many hands at the table. So, and, and many of our businesses through the Peterborough Chamber are, are small businesses. So. It's a big, big discussion. It continues. You can find the news release at the Peterborough Chamber of Commerce. Sandra Duick is the policy analyst. Great. Thanks for being here. That's your business 911.